hands and this body or mind, also the human do many assertions of the type, we see without eyes. Such statements limit the direct knowledge of the antecedent functioning of the body and sense field of perception.
specific differences between them, satisfaction of different entities, including gradations of intensity. These specific differences can only be expressed by the analysis of the components and the compressions out of which the actual entity arises. The intensity of satisfaction is promoted by the order in the phases from which the presence arises and through which it passes. It is enfeebled by the 130 disorder. The components and the compressions are thus valued upon the order of nature. 85 tributary to the satisfaction. The compressions is thus the building up of a determinate satisfaction, which constitutes the completion of the actual togetherness of the discrete component. The process of compressions terminates with the attainment of a full IIY determinate satisfaction, and the creativity thereby passes over into the given primary phase for the compressions of other actual entities. This transcendence is thereby established when there is attainment of determinate satisfaction, including the antecedent entity. Completion is the perishing of immediacy. It never re IIY is. See no actual entity can be conscious of its own satisfaction, for such knowledge will be a component in the process, and will thereby alter the satisfaction. In respect to the entity in question, the satisfaction can only be considered as a creative determination, by which the objectifications of the entity beyond itself are settled. In other words, the satisfaction of an entity can only be discussed in terms of the usefulness of that entity. It is a qualification of creativity. The tone of feeling embodied in this satisfaction passes into the world beyond, by reason of these objectifications. The world is self-creative, and the actual entity is self-creating creature passes into the immortal function of part creator of the transcendent world. In its self-creation the actual entity is guided by its ideal of itself as individual satisfaction and its transcendent creator. The enjoyment of this ideal is the subjective aim, by reason of which the actual entity is a determinate process. This subjective aim is not primarily intellectual, it is the war for feeling. This war for feeling is the germ of mind. Here I am using the term, mind, to mean the complex of mental operations involved in the constitution of an actual entity. Mental operations do not necessarily involve consciousness. In present, absorbed 131, in the derived data into immediate privacy, consists in mating the data to create the feeling provocative of the private synthesis. These subjective ways of feeling are not merely receptive of the data as alien facts, they close the dry bones with the flesh of a real being, emotional, purposive, appreciative. The miracle of creation is described in the vision of the prophet Ezekiel, so I prophesied as he commanded me.